हाँ Nope.
Why? Huh? Really? I don't get it. Hey. Hi there. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, you met with I really don't know much about him I mean I've only met him twice yeah but you walked home from school with him what did you guys talk about uh well he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately was that when I came to my senses I blurted out that I wanted to see him again to a guy I uh I don't really get it myself girls are so loud and obnoxious so you know I I really don't like dealing with them guys are a lot more laid back so uh I started thinking what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls. And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Uh, 
Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, uh, why do you ask? No reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Mm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best.
Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? Wh what's that? Come on, let's go. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, oh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi, and he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you, dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's gonna be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How Both Yukiko and Kanji-kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. What are these dates? April 11th? They found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki-senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw 
saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I went shopping that day, so... April... And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier, then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun! Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo! Mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh... We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What?! Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. 
I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's uh... What was it like for senpai... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More... gentle? What a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team! Ah, oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Looks perfect on you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smart ass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that! <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh my this is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey! Hey. The instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about... Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. about that that's right it's the first time for you two 
You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is... Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass, that's slave labor! Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. And this gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. It's only for one night and we've disbanded before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river.
That's what I just heard. When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Sorry, I got it ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. But at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case?
up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip, you guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, the bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up close and personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then... And then... A girlfriend. Now that's my partner. All right then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so- We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, oh, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromone. Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one.
Yo! Well then. You get to go first!
You can attack before them! Uh, are you alright, Sensei? Come, Jiraiya! Two enemies down! Amazing, Go to town, Yosuke! Here! Yosuke scored a critical hit! Hang in there! <laughs> Come on down! Good going, Kanji! Your blood must be boiling! So persistent! It's not going down! Just one enemy left! <laughs> Sensei, keep it up! It's weak to fire, but you... Don't get careless! Use ice on it! Three enemies 
left. King Frost. Three enemies down. Let's go. Good answer. Out of our way. I smell three enemies. Don't get careless. Counting on you. Two enemies down. Give them one Go for to me. town, Yosuke. Cool, Yosuke. You beat two of them. Great. Seriously, out to lunch. There. Three enemies down. Wow, we nice. sensei. Should we shoot it? Ready or not, here we come.
There are two enemies. Hang in there. Two enemies left. <laughs> It's my turn! I live for this part! 